Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the uh, Pepe update today. So I want to be very very uh, straightforward right now and come very straight to the point. You know, is crypto looking great at the moment? Well, of course on a paper it does look good. Uh, it's moving sideways and stuff. But with every single candle there's a story and this one candle that is coming in uh, for whatever reason basically is a distribution on bitcoin i still i'm still warning you about bitcoin and i i don't know what pepe is doing actually uh other than pumping back to the resistance and people do get bullish when resistance kicks in but this break has not happened but let's actually do one little bit of um you know analysis here what if this trend line becomes very 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 heavy and you already have this right angle ascending broadening wedge which is a bearish pattern again to take you down to 6800 okay that means that this can actually be a very good stop here at 15,055 so we're talking about uh, you know 12 percent risk which I'll never take honestly and but if it does actually come down break below and actually move all the way down to 6800 you got a 50 percent drop for yourself because again the rsi is really really burned to the upside and there's a big di divergence you can see that uh this is not good this is definitely not a good sign on the rsi okay chart patterns are not good enough always combine RSI is always use RSI. It's very simple and basic you may say but it really works so good and RSI is an OG in any market stock forex crypto Anything, okay, you can use the RSI to actually Conclude even uh, MACD's are also pretty good. I've never actually shown you MACD's but you know even the Bollinger Bands here uh, This is something else. Uh, I don't think I want to use that one right now But yes, you do have a doji by the way. So look at it Right, you have this doji which is high frequency dojis and then when you see a doji like this that actually means a move to the downside especially when you come up decision candle then the downtrend okay so the next thing that we may be looking at is this little bit of um you know channel that is developing so if uh paper does come down i'm i'm really expecting a move down like this go down all the way to 8357 first touch it right here because you have that support there support here make the wick down to 8200 get a little bit uh, get people a little bit bearish and then pump back up to uh 10610 get them bullish once again trap them for the retest and then boom drop down to the main technical target of 6800 and that's pretty much it for this video on pepe i'm going to see you the next one hey forgive me if you don't really like how bearish i am that's what it is and i'm going to see you the next one i love is